Good morning, guys. Greetings. In the name of Jesus Christ, how are you all doing? Well, if you managed to spot the little video I put up last night, uh, I get weak, too. I get tired, too. I haven't slept like about three hours in two and a half days. And that's my kryptonite, when I don't sleep. And all the bad thoughts come in, all the things I don't want to think about, I think about. And it gets very frustrating, and it gets painful. And I told myself last night, I'm taking a break for three days. And the Lord had other ideas. So I'm here doing this, even as tired as I am. I've been running and running and running. And it just seems like I can't ever get back to this, to do this. Uh, I can't stay focused on anything. It, I'm being drugged in so many different directions, and it's just impossible to keep up with it all. <clears throat> But we're going to do morning prayer. It's still morning. It's 11.45 a.m. my time. And we're going to pray this prayer. Look, we all have scars. I carry a ton of scars from the life that I've lived, especially my time in the Army. And those scars don't show on the outside until stuff like this happens, and then you see it manifest. God draws near to a contrite and broken heart. He looks very closely at those with broken spirits. There's something special about people like us. People who are laying up all night long in doubt, in wonder, in questions, in all these bad things pouring back in on them like a flood. Trying to fight it off and not able to fight it off. Not able to sleep. There's a reason why God looks so closely at people like us. And it's because we've gone through things that most people would have broken under. You know, you, you think it's a thing of weakness. And the world will tell you it's because of weakness. And it's not. It's because of strength. I was already there when I went in the army. And that just finished it off. Um, I was... A thin thread that was broken at that point. And when I went to Iraq, the first three months we were there, um, there I had to see about 25 people were sent home because they couldn't take the stress. And a bunch more 